welcome to Matrix Geo and please do not forget to subscribe and share with a friend, comment and like. Today I'm going to focus mainly on how to answer paragraph questions and today I'm specifically on farming. And before I do that, I'm going to give you a few tips that I used when I was in Matrix and those tips did work for me. Hopefully they do work for you as well. So my first tip is based basic specifically on farming right so most people have the understanding and the belief that when we say farming we are only referring to the crops and after doing that they run out of points very quickly but then people like me have the understanding that whatever happens to the crops affects the farmer therefore when we say farming we are referring to both the crops and the farmer in that way we have a lot of points because now we are referring to both the crops and the farmer and then the second tip would be always refer to the question so whatever point you write there the marker is looking for the point where you mention what happens to either the crops or the farmer because that is what the question requires from you and then my third point would be never ever use end in your paragraph because as soon as you join two points with the end in between them it makes it a single point so if you were supposed to get four marks instead you just got two because you used end which made it a single point and that is very great loss and then my fourth point would be write the paragraph in paragraph form do not use point form do not use hashtags do not use dashes do not use bullets write it in paragraph form sentence full stop sentence full stop that is paragraph form do not use dashes bullets hashtags Okay, and then the next point would be use uh, what my teacher called the miniskirt version. <laughs> well, he called it the miniskirt version because a miniskirt is short, but then it covers all the important parts. Do the same thing with your paragraph because that paragraph you are restricted. It has a restriction. It, seem, it says clearly in a paragraph of approximately eight lines so sometimes you are allowed to go nine ten nothing above that so your points should be like a miniskirt they should be short but then be well explained you understand just like a miniskirt is short and covers all the important parts and then the last tip would be just relax and uh put yourself in the shoes of the farmer right so let's get into the question so the question is going to come at you it's going to be like in a paragraph of approximately eight lines uh give the positive impact of mid-latitude cyclones on farming all right so to me mid-latitude cyclones equals to heavy rainfall and what does heavy rainfall do for me as a farmer what does it do for my crops right so in South Africa specifically, we are talking Cape Town. That's why it is winter rainfall. It's affected by mid latitude cyclone. So as a farmer, right, I am saying, okay, here's my paragraph. Point number one. mid latitude cyclones result in winter rainfall, which enables farmer to do winter farming for fruits such as grapes. Full stop. Due to heavy rainfall, Farmers will have more harvests. Full stop. Due to the more har due to more harvests as a resultant of heavy rainfall, fa commercial farmers gain more profit. Full stop. Number five. Like I always say, do it like a boss. When your friends give four points give five so now we continue point number five i'm going to say due to heavy rainfall dams will be filled which will be used by farmers for domestic use 
Due to heavy rainfall, water reservoirs will be filled, which will be used for livestock and irrigation. So those points are definitely more than four and they are definitely well explained and they are short. So when you have six points and the paragraph requires four, you are sitting in a pretty good place right now. And then now we go to the negative impact and the negative impact is pretty much the opposite of this side because we are also referring to heavy rainfall okay so let me give my points right now i'm writing my paragraph point number one due to heavy rainfall soil erosion may occur reducing the soil fertility full stop point number two would be due to low soil fertility the farmer will have low or less harvests. Full stop. Point number three would be due to the less low harvest received by the farmer, he will have low profit. Point number four. Due to the resultant uh, lightning crops and livestock may be bent yeah number five the lightning accompanied by thunderstorms may damage the property or house segments of the farmer another one Rivers and dams may be contaminated, resulting in the spread of livestock diseases. I think those points are more than four and they are well explained. So you do not have to go outside the box and crack your head. You are in the examination and time is moving. So you just put, your, put yourself in... If you were the farmer, what were you going to do? So what I just mentioned right now is what I've written all over again and again and again during uh, the term one test, during the June exams, during the prep exams, during the final exams. These are the points that I had. Those are the points that I wrote. So uh, next I'm going to talk about uh, the weather condition brought by mid latitude cyclones in a paragraph so do not forget to share the video subscribe comment like and uh peace